Welcome back to the Mountain Man Medical YouTube channel. My name is Doc. Thanks for joining me today. We're talking about two of the most popular tourniquets on the market today and two that I personally trust with my life. We're going to talk about which you should buy, which one is best for you, and some of the reasons why they might be the best for you. We're talking about the CAT tourniquet or Combat Application Tourniquet distributed by North American Rescue. And we're also going to talk about one of my personal favorites, the Soft T Wide Tourniquet produced and distributed by TACMED Solutions. Hang out. We're getting into it next. What I've got in my hands are the two most popular tourniquets on the market today, the Cat Tourniquet and the Soft Tee Wide. Both of these are fantastic tourniquets. They will work well to keep blood in somebody's body, but a lot of people don't really understand the differences between them, and a lot of people try to figure out whether one will work better over the other. It doesn't really matter. All of this is going to come down to a lot of preference. Both of these are going to work fantastic for you. The only thing that's really going to change is how do you carry it? What kind of people are you planning on taking care of with this? And where are you going to be operating? Are you going to Afghanistan? Maybe this one will work better for you. Are you going to be just walking around Dallas, Texas, and maybe you just worry about getting jumped? This one might work for you. Who knows? We're getting into it. So, the Soft T Wide is one of my personal favorites. I really enjoy this tourniquet. I used it well overseas. I think it's a fantastic tourniquet. It's a little more simple, in my opinion, than the Cat Tourniquet. One of the things that I didn't like about the Cat Tourniquet is they used to have to thread it through two buckles. And that made it a gigantic nightmare. You're trying to thread that through, you're already really panicked and everything is going crazy. Bullets are whizzing by and you're trying to take care of somebody. Trying to thread it through both of those buckles in order to put it on somebody's leg is kind of a, um, it's difficult to do and frustrating when you are very tense and you're losing all of those fine motor skills. Whereas the soft T wide tourniquet, it's a little bit easier to use in an emergency in my opinion. Um, now you can take care of a lot of this problem by training and getting a lot of experience. And then all of that kind of goes out the window. Your fine motor skills start to return and make it a little bit easier for you to do things like thread straps through small buckles. But for the most part, either of these are gonna be fine. They're gonna work for you. You definitely need to make sure that you're training with these tourniquets. Whichever one you decide to pick, pick one, stick with it, learn how to use it. Learn how to use it with one hand, learn how to put it on your leg, learn how to put it on someone else's leg. Try to do everything that you can to learn your gear. So both of these tourniquets are gonna work well for you. They're, they're trusted. Everybody knows the Soft Tee Wide and the Cat Tourniquet, probably more so the Cat Tourniquet over the Soft Tee Wide. This is seen everywhere. It's in Call of Duty for crying out loud. So everybody's probably gonna know what this looks like. This Cat Tourniquet is pretty easily recognizable. When people pull this out, they say, oh, that's a Cat Tourniquet. Whereas someone might look at this and be like, what is that? I don't know what that is. And they'll bypass it. You tell them to go and get your tourniquet and they're looking for this. And instead you have this, they miss this. That's a possibility, I suppose. So that is an option. Now, something that the Soft T Wide has over the Cat Tourniquet is the size. This packs down a lot flatter and a lot more compact than this Cat Tourniquet does. As we can see here, you match them up. The Cat Tourniquet is significantly taller. And if we put them on the sides, you can see that the cat tourniquet is a little bit taller as well, especially with the windlass included. So that's something to think about. Uh, you also have kind of an odd shape with this one. This one packs down to more of a rectangle shape. It's got a nice flat back, so it's easy to stack them up. This one, on the other hand, not so much. It's got these uh, tabs at the top that make it kind of lumpy at the top. and and it doesn't really pack well. Now that's not usually a pretty big deal. In Afghanistan, you've got backpacks and gear and things are mounted. But if you're trying to carry this in a cargo pocket or throw it in a backpack or a, a pocket, then that this might be a little more cumbersome to carry over this. This one will fit nice and snug down into just about any pocket that you needed to and be there for when you're ready and you need it. So the Softy Wide is 
probably a better way to carry a tourniquet if you are using this as part of your EDC. You, maybe you carry a flashlight, maybe you concealed carry, maybe you've got a knife on you and a multi-tool and all of that stuff just stacks up and you're using every single pocket on your pants before you're finally able to get a tourniquet and you're trying to figure out where you're gonna put it this one might be a little bit easier to squeeze into someplace. Now, a lot of people like to carry a tourniquet on their body at all times. I'm not one of those. I don't really enjoy having a lot of stuff in my pockets and making it difficult and bulky and I'm just not a fan. So I don't carry a tourniquet on my body. I do though usually take a backpack with me no matter where I go. I've got kind of like a small EDC backpack that's got you know, stuff for my kids, water bottles, sunscreen, maybe a diaper or two, you know, something like that. So I'm always prepared for that particular catastrophe. But at the same time, I don't really want to put stuff in my pockets if I don't have to. So I usually have a medical kit in, my, not usually, I always have a medical kit in my bag. That bag might stay in my car or for the most part, I usually take it with me so that at a moment's notice, I've got something available. So if you want to carry a tourniquet on your person at all times, the soft T wide might be a better option for you because of the way that it folds flat. But there are no problems with getting this into a cargo pocket. You can still do it. It'll just be a little more lumpy, maybe a little more uncomfortable to carry. Now, one of the other factors that you're definitely going to want to consider besides how are you going to carry it, it's also who are you going to use it on? Now, the cat tourniquet is much better at self-application. It's better and easier to try to apply this to yourself than the soft tee wide. The soft tee wide, it's definitely possible to do. You need to practice, like I've already said. But the cat tourniquet is a little more efficient for putting it on an arm with one hand. Now, either of these, it's completely easy to get it on to another person with using both of your hands or onto your own legs. You, you, you got both of your hands, easy to do. But one-handed, the cat tourniquet definitely wins out on this, whereas the soft tee wide is a little more difficult. You can still do it, you just need to practice. And I'm gonna go into a little bit about the differences between them and show you an example of why the cat tourniquet works a little bit better over the soft tee wide. All right, I'm gonna start with an example of the cat tourniquet. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna put the red tab closer to my body and I'll grab the tab and we're gonna cinch it down. Tourniquet's in place. Now I can go for another turn. It's uncomfortable, I'm not gonna do it. Just imagine that I put another turn in this windlass. But that's it, I'm completely done. Bleeding is occluded, I'm ready to keep going. Easy day, cat tourniquet, nice and easy. For those of you who are wondering how to put the cat tourniquet back together in the way it came out of the package, you just take about uh, six to eight inches or so, pull the red tab through this first buckle, and then you're just gonna seal it onto itself. Now you've got a loop. Now you can change this loop. If you've got some big old thunder thighs and you need to squeeze in it and that's not gonna cut it for you, make it bigger. You want this, the size of this strap to work easily on you. So if you've got smaller legs, bigger legs, just adjust the loop to be the right size for you. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to fold it back on itself like this, pinch it in the middle and fold it down. And then it's ready for a quick deployment. Loop it on, grab the strap. And you're done. Now, a quick tip, if you are practicing with your cat tourniquet, be aware that these can degrade. It's generally not recommended that you reuse a tourniquet. They make some blue tourniquets that you can um, produce, that are produced uh, for you to use as training, and they're labeled blue so you don't mix them up and accidentally put a tourniquet that you've been training with into your pocket and try to use it on yourself. 
Um, I don't think it's a huge deal, but generally it's considered that this is a one-time use item. You want this to stay as pristine as possible so that when you need to get to it and use it, you can do that. So uh, if you are using the tourniquet that you bought with the medical kit um, and you're trying to figure out how to use it and you just want to practice with it, but now it's all lumpy and weird and it's all kind of messed up because you've been practicing with it, here's something that you can do. You just grab the buckle on this side and then you grab the strap and then you just pull it and that will straighten out the strap on the inside of this strap and get everything kind of organized and looking pretty again. And then you're gonna take it one more time. We're gonna take this buckle. We're gonna take the red tip. We're gonna put it through this first loop. Six to eight inches. Fold it down on itself. Then we're gonna make another loop. And again, this loop needs to be a size that's right for you to put it on your leg or your largest extremity. Maybe you got gigantic arms and tiny little legs. I don't know. But we're going to do this, make it a loop, and then pinch it at the buckle and fold it on itself. And that is a properly set up tourniquet. Uh, almost. Now, do not take this strap and put it across like that to keep this windlass in place. You wanna leave that to the side so that there's no difficulties. I like to leave a little bit hanging off so that in an emergency, that's an easy thing to grab and put down if we need to. Because again, remember, we're losing our fine motor skills. This is a tense situation. This is an emergency. Our fine motor skills aren't there and available, so we want to make it as easy as possible to get, have a little tab there to grab onto. And then the tourniquet, the windlass, is tucked into the straps and out of the way, ready to be carried. Now we're going to do a little demonstration on how to use the soft tee wide, and you'll see that with the self-application, applying it to myself, it's a little more difficult and it might take slightly more time, especially if you haven't practiced on it on a regular basis. So here we go. And you'll see it slides a little bit more than the uh, the cat tourniquet. And now it's a little bit difficult to get it tied down. Something you could do is kind of try to trap it on your arm and then kind of try to pinch it. You want to make sure that this strap is nice and flat and it's not getting doubled on itself or binding. And then we're going to try to take out all of the slack out of the tourniquet that we can. So pinch it to your body and crank down. Now, that's as, about as tight as I can get it. I can definitely get the cat tourniquet tighter in this initial stage, which is better, but this should work just fine. And then we're gonna turn the windlass to tighten this down. The windlass on this is metal, which is nice. The cat tourniquet is plastic, but it doesn't really, there's no breaking problems with that tourniquet. I've never seen one break. I'm sure it's possible. I've never seen it. Then we're gonna take these little clips and we're gonna keep that in place, the, the windlass in place while we, while we can. And then to doubly secure it, we're gonna take that little clip there and put it over. And it feels, this feels pretty tight. And I, I, I have full occlusion. So it was like two, three turns maybe, and it's completely tied on. And there we go. Self-application with the soft T wide. Now, while we're talking about this, let's talk a little bit about some things that might make your life a little bit easier. Now, when you get this in the package, it should come with a couple of rubber bands that are holding it together, just like I've got some Ranger bands on here right now. Now, this can be a little bit difficult to get to and use one-handed. So what I did is I just took a piece of duct tape, looped it through, sealed it back on itself so it's not sticky, but it gives me a nice little tab there for me to grab onto. And if I need to use it one hand, Pull that off, drop it out, loop it over your arm, trap it to your body. Tighten it down, and then the windlass. Just like that. Secure it with the clip, and you're done. So, 
as you can see, it's still easy to do. You can still do it. It's just a little bit of a different technique and it's gonna apply more to what your preference is. You can still use this. This is still gonna work. The cat tourniquet might be a little bit better, but you can still get the job done with this, no problem. Same amount of time, basically. All right, now, since I showed you how to do it on the cat, I'm gonna go over how you can get this flat fold. Might be a little bit difficult, but hang in there with me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up that loop again. How big do you need it? You want it to be about, I have thunder thighs myself, so I'm gonna loop, I'm gonna make this nice and, and big. <clears throat> that should be about it. And then I'm just gonna fold this part, this loop down, pack it nice and tight, close to itself. And then all I'm gonna do is take the strap and loop it back and forth on itself a couple more times. Until I get that nice flat fold. Now you can go a little bit flatter than this. You can just play with it and figure out what's gonna work better for you. There's a lot of different uh, methods out there, but generally this here flat fold is gonna work just fine for you. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your rubber bands. And again, I've got these tabs on it made with duct tape, one of the best items on the planet, so that I can keep everything, ooh, nice catch. I'm gonna keep everything nice and neat and ready to use. And I'm gonna leave these tabs in a nice, easy to grab spot in case I need to use my teeth to get them. And there we go, all folded up. Could probably do a better job on that, but I think that this is gonna work just fine for me. Feel free to play with it and make it look as nice and pretty as you want it to look. And that's it. Getting it all packed down, ready to go in a pocket again. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. So, cat turning kit versus the soft tee wide. Which one is best for you? Only you can decide. The cat tourniquet is a decent choice. It's fantastic. This is what we're currently stocking our medical kits with. We would like to start stocking the soft tee wide, but we're having difficulties getting those into our shop at the moment. But hopefully those are coming so that if you would like to make the switch to the soft tee wide, those will be available to you. You can find these online for around 30 bucks, I believe maybe 32, these are 29, so the price difference isn't that much different if, you're, if that's what you're, uh, you're trying to make your decision based on. So either one of these is gonna work fantastic for you guys. Please drop a like if the, you got anything out of this video, and if I've earned a subscription, hit the sub button, stick around for some more videos coming up next. I'll see you in the next one.